Zip Tie Domes presents How to Build a Tunnel Dome with Four Extensions. This four extension tunnel dome is 8 feet 6 inches in height, 40 feet 9 inches in length, and 17 feet 1 inch in width. This dome design provides a floor space of 627 square feet. The design is very strong and will support over 100 pounds from a single hub. Here is an overhead schematic of the dome. This dome requires 99 blue A struts, 26 black B struts, 30 red C struts, 8 yellow D struts, 32 blue six-way hubs, 24 purple strut support hubs, six red five-way hubs, and 326 zip ties. We use 120-pound UV-resistant nylon ties for building smaller domes and 350-pound stainless steel ties for building larger structures. Using zip ties means that no tools are needed for building this dome. The hubs for this dome are also available as dual covering hubs. The dual covering hubs have an extra ridge on each edge of the hub. This ridge allows you to attach greenhouse plastic with zip ties to each hub on both the inside and the outside of the dome, which creates a dead air space for better insulation. Building the dome foundation. Take two blue struts and lay them in a slight V at one end of the dome footprint. Take two black struts and put a black strut on the ends of the blue struts in the shape of a circle. Take two yellow struts and put a yellow strut on the ends of the black struts in the shape of the tunnel dome. Take eight blue struts and put four blue struts on the ends of the yellow struts along the length of the tunnel dome. Take two yellow struts and put a yellow strut on the end of each of the blue struts. Take two black struts and place them at the ends of the yellow struts in the form of a circle. Complete the end of the tunnel dome foundation with two blue struts. Take six purple support hubs and put a purple hub between the blue struts on the sides of the tunnel dome, three purple hubs on each side. The standard purple support hub will have curved slots along the edge of the hub. Make certain the curved slots on the edge of the purple hubs are perpendicular to the length of the tunnel dome. The curved slots in the purple hub should point towards the center and the outside of the tunnel dome. The struts should be inserted on opposite sides of the hub or 180 degrees apart and attached to the center ring with zip ties. This will allow the support struts to be attached to the hub when the dome is complete. If you are using dual covering hubs, the purple support hub will have six holes on one end for the struts and two holes on the other end for the support struts. You want the two openings for the support struts on the top of the hub and to point to the inside and the outside of the dome. When the first tier is raised, the hub will turn on its side and the support strut holes will be on the inside of the dome. This will allow the support struts to be attached to the hub when the dome is complete. Now let's finish the dome. Take 14 blue hubs and 14 center rings. Put a blue hub and center ring between every strut and connect them together to complete the tunnel dome foundation. The strut should be inserted on opposite sides of the hub or 180 degrees apart and attached to the center ring with zip ties. Building the first tier. 
All struts and hubs will be placed on the outside of the foundation ring. Take eight red struts and four red hubs. Lay the struts and hubs in the shape of four red triangles over the four black struts near the ends of the tunnel dome foundation. Take four blue struts and put a blue V where two blue struts meet at the very ends of the tunnel dome. Take 16 blue struts and 8 purple hubs. Put 8 blue triangles with a purple hub over the 8 blue struts on the sides of the tunnel dome. When you assemble the triangle, make certain the openings for the support struts in the purple hub point up to the top and down to the bottom of the triangle. This will put the openings in the right place for the support struts after the first tier is erected. Take four blue struts and lay a blue strut on either side of the blue triangles with a purple hub. Take eight black struts and place them in the remaining gaps so that a triangle is over every strut in the foundation ring. Put blue hubs at the top of the remaining triangles. Connect the hubs and struts to the foundation ring. It will be easier to connect the struts to the foundation ring first and then connect the hubs at the top of each triangle. Take eight red struts and place two red struts on either side of the four red hubs. Take two black struts and place a black strut over the blue V at each end of the tunnel dome. Take ten blue struts and put a blue strut between each purple hub and on the side of the purple hubs on the sides of the tunnel dome. Raise the first tier. Building the second tier. Take four red struts and two red hubs. Make two red triangles with a red hub and place them over the black strut at each end of the tunnel dome. Take four red struts and attach them to four blue hubs. Insert these into the four red hubs at the top of the first tier. Take eight black struts and put a black strut on either side of the four red struts with the blue hubs. Attach with zip ties at the bottom and the top. Take four red struts and put a red strut on either side of the red hubs at the ends of the tunnel dome. Take eight blue struts and four blue hubs. Make four blue triangles and place them over the four blue struts in the four corners of the tunnel dome. Take four yellow struts and connect the blue hubs at the top of the blue triangles to the top of the second tier. Take eight blue struts and four purple hubs. Make four blue triangles with the openings in the purple hubs aligned up and down. Attach the four triangles at the four corners of the tunnel dome. Take four blue struts and connect the purple hubs at the top of the blue triangles to the top of the second tier. 
Add six support struts. Each support strut comes in two pieces for shipping. Slip a one inch PVC pipe coupler over the end of a support strut. Put the other end of a strut into the curved slot on the edge of the purple support hub and attach a strut to the center ring with a zip tie. Take another support strut without a coupler and attach it to the support hub directly above. Connect the two struts together with a coupler and secure the connection with two zip ties. Take four blue struts and two purple hubs. Make two blue triangles with the openings in the purple hubs aligned up and down. Attach the two triangles over the empty blue struts on the sides of the tunnel dome. Take four blue struts and attach to the tops of the triangles to complete the second tier. Add three support struts. Completing the dome. Take two red struts and two blue hubs and attach each red strut to a blue hub. Attach the other end of the red struts to the red hubs at each end of the tunnel dome. Take four black struts and put two black struts on either side of the red strut and connect to the blue hubs at the top of the dome. Take four blue struts and connect to the same two blue hubs at the top of the dome. Take two blue struts and attach two purple hubs. Make certain the openings in the purple hubs point to the sides of the tunnel dome. Attach the other ends of the struts to the blue hubs at the top of the dome so that the purple hubs are towards the center of the dome. Take eight blue struts and connect the purple hubs to the top of the second tier. Take two blue struts and two purple hubs. Attach the purple hubs to the ends of the blue struts. Make certain the openings in the purple hub point to the sides of the tunnel dome. Attach the blue struts along the center line of the dome. Connect the two purple hubs to the top of the dome with eight blue struts. Connect the two purple hubs together with a blue strut to complete the dome. Add the remaining eight support struts. After the dome is complete, Check the width of the dome to make sure it is correct and that it matches the width stated in the assembly manual or on the tunnel dome calculator. Tunnel domes have a tendency to spread out in the middle and pulling the sides together will make the tunnel dome much, much stronger. You can stake down one side of the tunnel dome and pull it together manually or you can use electric fencing wire to pull the two sides together. Each hub on the ground will have two holes facing the ground. Once the tunnel dome is the correct width, take a short piece of rebar or other metal stake and place it inside one of these holes and pound the stake into the ground. Staking the sides of the tunnel dome will bring the design to full strength. For more information, go to www.ziptiedomes.com. At the top of our website, there's a black navigation bar. Hover over the dome calculator section of the navigation bar and then click on tunnel domes in the drop down list. This will present a complete list of our tunnel dome calculators all the way up to 20 extensions. The calculator will produce the height, width, and length of the tunnel domes, plus give you each strut length. Using the strut lengths from the tunnel dome calculator will let you buy just the hubs from us 
and then cut your own struts from one inch Schedule 40 PVC pipe to make any size tunnel dome. Or you can buy the complete kit with hubs and the struts ready to be assembled. If you have questions about our products, call us at 931-858-6892. We would love to talk to you. Thanks.